Okay, I'm gonna do another recipe demo. I call this truther cooking, because if you're a truther, number one, you're probably a little bit paranoid about what you eat, and two, you're probably pretty broke. Root vegetables. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a uh, beet soup. First, you're gonna put a few beets in a pot of boiling water, and you're gonna cook them. The reason for this is that once you've cooked them a little bit, the skin will come off really easily. So once they're cooked, you peel them. In another pan, put a little bit of olive oil, add a few cloves, yeah. Some onion powder. Then add some chopped onions. Add some chopped up celery. Keep stirring it so nothing burns. I've got it on uh, medium heat. Okay, and add some garlic, of course. Keep stirring it too. This is a uh, been cooking for a little while now. You can add some water with bouillon in it. Uh, bouillon cubes not uh, dissolved yet. Right. Yeah, so that's going to be like your soup base. If you're really paranoid about MSG, you can use an organic bouillon cube. You're going to need a soup pot to make your soup so set up a pot and put some water and boil it and you can let that simmer in the background while you peel and chop up your beets. I just recently found out that um, drinking beet juice is as effective as pharmaceuticals at lowering your blood pressure. So like if you have a blood pressure attack you just drink beet juice and, and it works just as well as those pills that you put under your tongue that melt. My friend just told me that the stuff you put on your tongue is nitroglycerin. No! I thought it was some kind of explosive, but I wouldn't put it past the pharma industry to make you swallow explosives when you could just drink beet juice instead. Of course, carrying around a few pills with you is probably a lot easier and more convenient than lugging a jar of beet juice around with you in your purse. You're also going to add um, a chopped up carrot and a chopped up kohlrabi or whatever else you like to use. I had the option of the turmit, turnip, but I'm going to use this one. So when your water's uh, boiled, then you can add this brew with the bouillon and the onions. Turn it up a bit to make it boil. And then I'm going to add my beets. And the carrots. You can also use a potato instead of a rutabaga or a turnip or kohlrabi. And the kohlrabi or turnip or rutabaga or potato. Then you just stir it and you let it boil for a little while. Just make sure it's not boiling too hard. Keep your eye on it and stir it a little bit. Turn the heat down a little bit. So then you just let your soup simmer and uh, taste it. See if it needs anything else. Maybe it needs more bouillon or salt or pepper and just add to taste as they say. When the vegetables are tender, then you can add, I have some leftover cut up meat. So I'm going to add that. That'll work. I can hear you already telling me that meat will kill you. Okay, this meat is from like a humane farmer and he doesn't give them antibiotics or um, hormones. So I'm hoping it's better, but but if you don't like meat, you can add tofu. Of course, somebody else recently sent me some articles showing that tofu will also kill you. Meat will kill you, tofu will kill you. I give up. And finally, you can add a little bit of parsley. And that's it, pretty much. Here's the finished product. What do you think, Uncle Joel? You don't, you don't like beets. You like the soup? It's okay. Good. Oh, that's a compliment for somebody like who doesn't soup. doesn't like beets. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, it's good.